What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 20 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a diagram and tells us that parallel lines P and Q are cut by transversal R. And we're supposed to find the value of X knowing that this big angle is 2X plus 40 degrees and this small angle is 3X minus 85 degrees. So to do a question like this and do it well, you'll need to know the properties of parallel lines and transversals, which I'll go over briefly, and how to use simplifying tricks to solve a two-step equation. Now first, let's talk about this whole idea of parallel lines and transversals. So these two, you can probably tell, are our parallel lines, and this one is the transversal because it cuts across both parallel lines. Now when you learned this, you probably learned about a whole bunch of different types of angles like same side interior angles, um, alternate exterior angles, corresponding angles, all that jazz. But essentially, I'm going to boil all that down to one idea uh, that kind of comes in three parts. That idea is all of our small angles are going to be congruent. So small angle, small angle, small angle, small angle, those are all congruent. We're going to have some big angles that are all congruent as well. Big angle, big angle, big angle, and big angle, all congruent. But anytime I want to find, or anytime I have a small angle and a big angle, I know that when I add up their measurements, so small angle plus big angle, if I add up their measurements, I'm always going to get 180 degrees. And we can kind of see this from the different pairs of small angle and big angle that make up a line. And of course, one side of a line is always going to be 180 degrees. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and see what kind of angles we have. 3x minus 85 is on a small angle, and 2x plus 40 is on a big angle. So that tells me that I'm going to have to set this up like it's one of these equations. So instead of my small angle, 3x minus 85. And that's going to be added to 2x plus 40. And I know that that's all going to equal 180. Now, I took out all the degree signs from this just to make the problem, problem a little less cluttered. But you can see we have a small angle represented by 3x minus 85 plus a big angle represented by 2x plus 40. And those two angles together have to equal 180. So I'm going to do a little bit of combining like terms to get this into a form that we can more easily work with. I'm going to look at my 3x and my plus 2x and say, okay, 3x plus 2x is just 5x. And now I'm going to look at my minus 85 and my plus 40. And that one I will need my calculator for. So I can do 40 minus 85, or I can do negative 85 plus 40. Either way, I get an answer of negative 45. So I know that 5 times some number minus 45 equals 180. And at this point, everything here is just another two-step equation that I can use the same tricks to solve as I've always done. Now, I want to bring back my socks and shoes analogy. If you get home, you can't take off your socks without taking off your shoes. And when we solve an equation, we have to get rid of the numbers that are furthest away from x before we can get rid of the ones that are uh, right next to it. So we'll have to get rid of minus 45 before we get rid of this 5. So to get rid of minus 45, I'm going to add addition and subtraction are opposites. So minus 45 and plus 45 are going to cancel each other out. I come over here and do 180 plus 45. 180 plus 45 will get me 225 which I know equals 5 times some number. And at this point, the only thing I have left to do is recognize that 5x is the same thing as 5 times x and say to myself that I'm going to divide by 5 because multiplying and dividing are opposites. So 5 divided by 5 cancels. 225 divided by 5 will give me x by itself equals 45. So after all that, we just got an answer of 45. And I'm going to come down to my gridded response boxes. I'm going to give each digit in 45 its own box. Under my 4, I'll bubble in my 4. Under my 5, I'll bubble in my 5. And that is how we set up and solve and answer one of these questions. Let me scoot back to all this work so you can see it.